everyone, Tanya from Couture Creations here. Today we're going to have a look at all our dry adhesives. So we had a look at our liquid glues last week. So let's start off with all our double sided tapes. So we have three different sizes, your 3mm, 6mm and 12mm. So as you can see they are all different thicknesses. So there's your 3mm, that's your 6mm and then we have our 12mm. So they all contain 50 metres on the roll. So that's our double sided tapes. We also have a tape dispenser. I'm not sure if everybody's seen these or a tape cutter. So that fits on the side of our roll. I'll show you how to put that in. So this is 12 wheel. We'll just take it out of the packaging. Along with the tape cutter. So it has a tape cutter. Oops, sorry, just pulled it out. So it's got the blade on there. Just put the blade back in. Sorry, yep. And you've got a little clip down the bottom. So you can put it on your, with different widths. So obviously, the tighter the width, the smaller the tape. So you just have to find our end. There's our end there. So you lift your end up of your tape and feed it up through the top of your tape. Bring that up over the top, like that, and then clip it in place. So when you're using it, it's just as simple as slide and come forth. So that's really, really handy for your double-sided tapes. And you can use it in all widths. So the 6 or the 12 mil. That's our white tape cutter. Also have our foam tapes. So the double-sided foam tape comes in a 6 mil or a 12 mil width. As you can see, it's just raised by about 2 mil. So you can make all your 3D embellishments, make them a little bit riser, or what you call a lumpy, bumpy card or a layout. And there's four meters each on each of those rolls. And they are all designed for scrapbooking, perfect for your photos, um, and heat resistant as well. So that's our double-sided foam tapes. We also have our foam squares, dots, mini dots and strips in these. So they come in white or black. So as you can see, there's your little squares and they're double-sided. I'll show you them out. As you can see, it's all filled with tiny little squares. So again, good for your 3D decoupage sheets, paper towel, and make your lumpy and bumpy layout. So then that one's just circles. Then we have mini dots and your foam strips. Foam strips are really great if you want to create a shader card because you can put an edge all around your photo or your frame, however you like it. So again, they're available in black or white. So on your little squares, you have four, 940 pieces. On the black dots, there's 152 pieces. But once you've used all your dots up, use all the rest of the, the little outside bits or the bits in between. They're just as good on your layout. On your little mini dots, you have 360 pieces. And your mini strips, they're three mil wide. Again, available in black or white. Also have our new, this is a fairly new product we bought out probably late last year. It's our, our foam adhesive. So again, it's your 3D foam, but it's already pre-cut. We get 250 squares on here, and it's just very convenient. So that's your squares there, that's your size of your square. And they are double-sided. really easy to use and they come in a nice big roll. So 250 squares on that roll. I've got a corner of the camera, sorry. So that's our adhesive foam tape on the roll. Our embossing foil and glitter tape is about 7mm wide. 
as you can see there. So it's a nice, super strong tape. Is five meters on there, sorry, five meters on there. So here's some examples of how we've used it. This particular one here is just straight glitter. So you put your tape down, put your glitter on, and don't forget to give it a little bit of a polish with your finger. These two here are heat embossed, so you can the tape won't warp when you heat emboss it. So this is just our normal um, embossing powder, and we've heated it with a heat tool. So put your tape down, put your embossing powder down, and heat it like normal. Both of these here, and you can see the paper hasn't warped at all, and nor has the tape. Here we've used our embossing and foil tape just for foil. So we put it down on a piece of card and then just press the foil into it. So you get a nice foil image. So there's a lot of different ways you can use it. This tape is also great for when you're doing your little mini albums on the binder or if you're doing a twist and pop card, a little twist and pop element in the middle, really good and nice and strong for holding that. Next we have our glue spots. So we have three different sizes in our glue spots. We have our mini, and the actual size is on the box. So that's the size of our spots there. As you can see, I'll just quickly open it for you. So you can just see them there in the light. So that's our little mini ones craft which are just the normal size and they are flat got some here open as you can see them there and then the 3d so as the name suggests they're raised so again they're good for making your lumpy bumpy layouts and just 3d in the product so you can see the thickness on those a bit hard to see in the camera sorry and again don't think of them just as using them for glues. Here, I've actually just heat embossed them with the same embossing powder that we used before. Just put them down. As you can see, these are flatter, and that's your 3D. So you get a nice raise effect, so you get a really good background. And when you're using them, try and not put your fingers on them. I tend to just roll it back and put it on the paper and just roll it onto where you want it. That way you're not touching them and you're not getting fingerprints in them and getting them dirty. Some other suggestions you can use for them. So here is the mini ones we've used and all we've done is just make rows of them on a page for a background and then rubbed a piece of foil over it. We've just used leftover foil, a couple of different colours, so then you can go and embellish the page or make a card from that one. Here Kaylee from our design team has actually already made some cards for us. So this particular one here is just being rubbed with glitter. So they're the two different sizes in the flat glue spots. And she's put them on, sorry, put them, put glitter on them, made them into a card. So it actually looks like ribbon. This one here, they've been used as the placentas of flowers, again with glitter on them. Looks great. So don't you don't think of them just as glue. Use them as an embellishment. And here the little ones have been used for a Christmas tree. So little um, baubles on the Christmas tree. And this one here is for balloons. And just colour them with a little bit of ink. I would also suggest that you use your Goodbye Eddie Static Pad to dab them when you're finished. Just so it loses a little bit of stickiness if you're not heat embossing them or putting them glitter on them. So they are our blue spots available in three different sizes. They're all acid free, permanent and photo safe as well. The 3D is actually 0.3 millimetres in height. So it's a little bit higher than your foam strips or your foam squares. Our mounting squares. So these are a white mounting square. There's 500 in the pack. They're double sided adhesive. And I've got a pack here. So they're little tiny squares, I wouldn't say tiny, sorry, one centimetre by one centimetre, and they're flat. They're not, a, they're not 3D raised at all. And there's a little dispenser in the bottom of the pack so you can just feed it through and then they will come up through the back. So they're our foam 
sorry, not foam mounting squares, just normal mounting squares. And they're white and they're permanent as well. So there's 500 in that pack. However popular, die cut and bond. So it's 12 centimetres wide and it's 25 metres on the roll and it is just double sided tape. So when you, if you place a piece of double, sorry, if you place a piece of die cut and bond onto a piece of cardstock, then cut your die out like normal, it actually turns it into like a sticker so you don't need glue. So it's just nice and sticky. You can tear it, you don't have to cut it with scissors. still strong, again great for your binders, any kind of um, cardstock if you want to, rather than just use tape you can just put a piece of your double sided um, die cut and bond in the middle of your cardstock and glue your card together that way. Sorry, now my fingers are sticking together. We also have our double sided tape in what we call our bulk range. So we have three mil, so you get 48 pieces in that, that um, pack. They are only 25 metres in length though. Same with our six mil double sided tape, 24 pieces in that pack, and our 12 mil. And there is 12 pieces in that one. So look out for all our collection of dry adhesives at your local craft store. You'll also find our latest catalogue on our homepage of our web store, which is www.couturecreations.com.au. So you can have a look at all our latest products, um, everything in there, all our colour range, embossing powders, inks. So if you're ever looking for a product and you need it, like need to locate it, just ask your local stockers can they order it in for you. Thanks for watching.